welcome everyone to this week's Fish Friday. We are on Fish Friday number six, I believe. I believe it's six. And today we are talking about what I think is the most beautiful fish in the ocean. And I don't use that term lightly because I've seen a lot of stuff. But today we are going to be talking about this, the mandarin fish or the dragonette. Um, as you can see, just gorgeous colors, absolutely striking. Um, these wonderful blues, the squiggles, and fun fact about these, we'll get into a lot of fun facts, but each individual fish has unique markings, kind of like tigers. You can identify a tiger, an individual tiger, by the pattern of its stripes. Well, you can do the same thing with these mandarin fish or mandarin dragonettes or dragonettes um the scientific name for this fish is synchiropus synchiropus splendidus and as you can see it's got its specific epithet which is the second part of that name splendidus from its splendid colors it is a member of the dragonette family for those of you who might be familiar, it is similar to a goby, but they are different than a goby. Um, most people think that they are gobies, but they're actually, they're, very, they're different. Um, these fish get up to six, they average about six centimeters in length. And they may be up to eight centimeters is about as long as you would um, get. Um, as you can see, they have large pelvic fins. A lot of these think these are pectoral fins. These are actually pelvic fins. They use these pelvic fins for walking on the seafloor, on the corals that they made their home. Um, and they have a, they actually, they have no scales. These fish have no scales. As you can see, you cannot see any scaling pattern on this fish. Um, and what they do is they secrete a toxic mucus to deter predators. So it's really toxic to anything that tries to eat it. And apparently, and I don't know this for a fact, but apparently it smells terrible. According to some people, as beautiful as this fish is, is as bad as you would smell. So that gives you that. Um, just to, for your own education, this sort of color pattern, aposomatism, is basically saying, don't eat me with colors. Um, a lot of people can think of like um, poison dart frogs, you know, those real bright red, blue, green frogs that come from the Amazon. Those are the same thing. They are practicing aposomatism by, and saying, don't eat me using colors instead of trying to be trying to hide from predators these these are still pretty still hide pretty well but these are basically saying well if i go out and you eat me you're going to regret it um they something about this blue um this blue coloration this blue coloration is extremely unique and you might be thinking, what do you mean, ping? It's blue. A lot of fish are blue. However, this blue, this vivid kind of electric blue, is created by using cyanophores. Most other fish that give off a blue tinge or a, you know, a light blue, they are using um, loosing crystals in the scales. These are actually creating their own pigment. Kind of like you would think the chlorophyll in plants. These are kind of that same thing. They're creating this pigment themselves, this blue color themselves, which is really unique. In fact, only this species, and uh, we'll get into that, Tubby. Only this species and one other of the same family has this blue coloration using cyanophores, and that is the psychedelic mandarin. Um... Something to note if you want to tell the difference between males and females. Males are going to have this dorsal spine. Um, apparently, their fins are very different as well, but this dorsal spine is spine. 
this dorsal spine is going to be the easiest way to tell. Um, these fish live in the Philippines and Australian coastlines. Um, are these exotic? I mean, they're from the Philippines and Australia. Um, they live in sheltered and inshore reefs, so they live in you know very slow moving uh, reef environments. And normally, when you get a coloration patterns like this, you can expect them to be in a reef setting. Um, now. Back to Tavi's questions. Most of the information you're going to find on these are about aquarium. People trying to keep these in aquarium. I mean, you look at this coloration, and how could you not want to keep this in your home aquarium? Um, the problem is, is that these are very difficult if you don't know what you're doing. These have a very specific diet that doesn't bode well for most aquarium people now they're still harvested people still harvest these fish and still take them to aquarium stores and people will still buy them and when one dies they'll buy another one um but their diet makes it really hard to keep them their diet consists of copa copepods worms fish eggs and gastropods so the only real way to do it is to have your tank set up in like a live rock um, system. Um, basic, I want to say it was, uh, the numbers I saw was like 50 pounds of live rock per one dragonet or mandarin fish. Um, so needs needs a decent amount of area um, for those copepods to eat on that live rock. Um, because of the aquarium trade, probably due to the aquarium trade, people still taking them, these are actually threatened um, in a way. They're not, they're, the average cost for it is about $50 to $150. So honestly, not that expensive um, when you get in the grand scheme of things. Um, I had an aquarium. I bought a fish for uh, $30 and I was offered $700 to sell it so you know people will pay what they want to pay for aquarium fish um 50 to 100 and a lot of it depends on the patterns but they're really common they're not that not that far so all right guys thank you so much for stopping in for this uh fish friday i really appreciate it i hope to see again sorry that this one was really short um again but um there's just not much going on um, with this fish. It's mainly talking about its coloration, its unique coloration. Um, it does have an interesting spawning pattern. Um, but, but thank you guys so much again. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. If you do, I would really appreciate it. Please leave a comment as well telling me what you would like me to see. This fish was actually recommended in the YouTube comments by one of our longtime supporters. Avi, who is also in our Twitch stream. So thank you guys. Please be safe. Please take care of your loved ones and peace.